Okay, so your boy is back. Not really, really back, but I'm back. Somehow back, well, you know, but, but it's different. This is going to be different. Not like the way it used to be, but I'm still going to rant. I'm going to vent. I went to see a doctor and a doctor told me that I need this. I need to vent. So here I am. This is therapy for me. I'm talking to you guys. This is, ther this is therapy. This makes me feel good. All right. Thank you for listening. Thank you. I know it's not a lot of people here. It's probably, you're the only person listening to me. So thank you very much. All right. You don't need to subscribe. Just any other day you feel like you also need therapy. Come out here. Let's have therapy together. And we talk. So I'm going to be doing this probably like once a week. Thank you very much. Happy holidays to you. Okay. So let's go back to talking basketball. The in-season tournament. I think it was a hit. That's what I'm thinking. I think it was just incredible. I thought it was really, 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 really good. Okay, why do I think it was really good? Because it was very competitive. It was very competitive. I felt like the players were invested. I was invested, and that's great. If I'm invested, that's all that matters to me, all right? And if you're invested in this video, stay with me. Let's have this therapy together, and let's talk about the in-season tournament. All right, three games I love. I would say the best game was... The game that I would not put at number one, I'll probably put it at number three, only because I didn't like the outcome. It was the Sacramento Kings playing against the Warriors. Boy, that game was great. The Warriors were up by 24 points at one point. Going into the half, they were up by 17 points. And the last, what, like 10 possessions were just, I would say, ridiculous. Kerr, a little suspect there, all right? You should have done something. But anyway... Anyway, let's not go back in time. What's done is done, all right? The Warriors had turnovers after turnovers. Steph had one. Uh, Draymond, Draymond had another one. I mean, they just had turnovers. Okay, let's, let's just, it was just, it was just terrible. Now, they wouldn't make these kind of turnovers if it was just a regular season game because what they were trying to do was go up by 12. If they had, if they won the game by 12 points, they would advance. So that was that is what they were trying to do, and it was they were playing desperate, playing like they were down, and then eventually Malik Monk just drowned them, and they lost the game, they lost a regular season game, and Dub Nation was salty. Well, I can't speak for everybody, but I was salty. I I was salty, but that was a great game. You know, big up to the Sacramento Kings. They're playing beautiful basketball this season. De'Aaron Fox, just incredible. Love what he's doing. All right. I love what De'Aaron Fox is doing. Okay. Hold on a second. Woo! Game number two. All right. Which I guess this is number two. Doesn't matter because I flipped the other one. The other one is number three. So game number two was <sighs> the Celtics playing against the Pacers. Halliburton playing his first TNT game. And he did not disappoint. Boy, he did not disappoint. That boy is something special. Something very, 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 very special. Very special. Not special. Special. <laughs> okay. All right. Why I thought that was an incredible game was because the stakes were high. And the Celtics, hmm, you know how the Celtics do when the stakes are high, right? They fold. The pattern is there. The pattern is there. They fold it again. I mean, the Celtics are playing incredible basketball during the regular season, but when the stakes are high, they fold. I mean, don't be mad at me, Boston. I mean, just look at the pattern. Look at the pattern. You see yourself, they fold. And that's why I'm telling you the end season game, players were invested. I was invested. It just felt like a lot of people invested. It was a hit. It was a success. So, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Boston. I'm sorry, Celtics fans. I... It just, it is what it is. All right, so the other game, it involved the Warriors again, and they lost again. They were playing against OKC, and OKC um, were down by three, and Chet just knocks a ridiculous three to send the game to overtime. I don't know how he made that three. I, I don't know why they didn't foul, but anyway, I guess, you know, they learned the lesson, and then a, a regular game, a regular season game in, in OKC... Kind of like the same thing happened. Stephen Curry knocked down a three, and they're up by three points. And this time, they're like, we're going to foul. We're going to foul. Make sure Chet doesn't do that again. And guess what? They foul him while this man was about to shoot. 
So he went, knocked down three, three free throws, and the game went to overtime, and bang, they got spanked again. The Warriors got spanked twice, almost the same thing. It's almost the same thing all over again. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. OKC just have a thing for the Warriors now. Spank, 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 spank. Mad props to Chet. Mad props to SGA. OKC is just playing beautiful basketball. That's all I can say. They, they're doing their thing. They're doing their thing. But what I really want to talk about, okay, so that was game, and third game, I would say, all right. So what I really want to talk about is um, the, um, the whole thing, ISD, the whole thing. The winners were the Lakers, you know, give props to the Lakers. The Lakers did their thing. They won it all. So congrats to the Lakers. But I'm a little confused about one thing, though. I'm a little confused because when you look, they say the MVP is the whole thing, right? Okay, I get it, because the final game, AD went off. AD went off. But then when you look at the whole thing, in every category, AD trumped LeBron, except two categories, steals and turnovers. Those are the only two stat lines that, you know, LeBron had an advantage over AD. So I don't get it. This man, you know, he usually disappears. I call him Houdini. He disappears all the time. He didn't disappear. He played really hard, but it was not MVP worthy. And then he topped it off with 40 plus, over 20 rebounds, and over five assists. I mean, that's just ridiculous, y'all. Those are incredible numbers.